Hello, my name is Karina Cuanano Contreras and I work as a culture specialist for Savoy. Savoy is the original manufacturer of plastics and semi permeable membrane for off the shelf and customized life science applications. We are committed to the triage principle of refining, replacing, and reducing the use of animals for scientific procedures and testing. And we are happy to engage in activities that promote the use of new alternative methods. I am grateful to have the opportunity to present in the 10th annual meeting of the American Society for Cellular and Computational Toxicology, and I would like to thank the organizing committee for all their attentions. Before jumping to the presentation, I would like to take a minute to introduce ourselves. Savoy is a German OEM. We have more than 60 years of expertise in the manufacturing of plastics and semi permeable membranes for off the shelf and customized life science applications. As a matter of fact, we produce and commercialize our own cell culture inserts on the Desert Card brand. In addition, we are very excited to be part of the Triars transformation. We believe that by applying the triad principle, in vivo testing can be minimized without affecting the accuracy of scientific research. In the background picture, you can see one of our factories located in Nordheim, Germany. I would like now to provide a summary from the topics that we will discuss today. We will start with a brief introduction of cell culture inserts, discussing their main features. After, we will have an overview on the membrane technology behind our cell culture inserts and we will discuss why the highest quality control in the production of these devices is extremely important to allow reproducibility in cell culture experiments. I will then provide a couple of application examples as well as a guide on how to select the proper pore size and pore density for your experiments. To finalize, I will show you an overview of our product roadmap in case you are interested in a customized cell culture solution. Cell culture inserts are membrane-based devices containing a semi-permeable membrane where the cells are grown. This membrane is split the chamber into two different compartments and it is attached to an insert body that keeps it in place. The insert body is made out of transparent biocompatible plastic. Cells grown on semi-permeable membranes have a basal and an apical side, making it in vivo conditions, enabling cell polarization and promoting adequate cell differentiation. The use of these devices opens up the possibility to adapt for dynamic cell culture conditions and co-culturing at both sides of the membrane and also at the bottom of the plate. In addition, permeability assays are easily performed since solutions can be collected from both the apical and the vasolateral compartments. And transepithelial, transendothelial electrical resistance measurements are performed easily using a voltometer. In addition, the possibility to remove the media from the apical compartment offers an excellent option to perform air-liquid interface cultures. Membrane-based systems have been widely used in the literature to model epithelial and endothelial layers. As you can guess from my previous slide, the semi permeable membrane is one fundamental component of a cell culture insect, as they are the place where cells attach and grow. The membrane also allows the diffusion of nutrients and substances to the cells. Cell card inserts have a trackage microporous membrane. But what does that mean? And what is the science behind this membrane? We would like to shed a bit of light regarding this topic. Trackage membranes are produced from ultra-thin PET films that are bombarded with accelerated noble gas ions. The goal of this step is to break the molecular chains of the polymer to create ion tracks that are clearly defined by their density and angles. The desired pore density is accurately determined by the ion beam intensity and the film velocity. The precise control of these factors allows for the production of superior optical clear membranes. Afterwards, the ion tracks are chemically etched into pore channels. The diameter of these pores can be determined with submicrometer accuracy. Finally, membranes are treated with air plasma to promote optimal cell attachment. Trackage membranes are produced in-house by Savoy, guaranteeing 100% parameter consistency and are integrated in our line of cell culture insects. Now that we have learned the basics of our semi-permeable membrane technology, I will explain you why membrane quality matters. 
To guarantee that cell growth as required on the cell inserts, the ability to control the quality parameters of the membrane is an essential feature. For example, each section of the semiporous membrane must have the same pore size distribution to assure uniform cell growth and proper nutrient diffusion. In this electron microscopy image of one of our trackage membranes obtained by our research team, you can see one of the pores that I'm talking to you about. In addition, the membrane must be appropriately coated and evenly welded to the plastic. If any single element is defective, the whole cell culture will be damaged. Consequently, all these aspects are crucial. We monitor all these parameters in our end-to-end -end checking process. And the development of our cell culture inserts was only possible as our highly qualified team of biologists, polymer chemists, product developers, as well as our plastic and membrane production facility are located at the same site. As you can see, we bring innovative, high-quality products to market acceptance, always in compliance with the regulatory provisions. We take quality seriously, as it is related to the ability to generate consistent and uniform results. Our focus is on total quality management principles. For us, quality Assurance is not just a business area, but a duty for all the employees. A key parameter is the design and building of production tools, which are the basis to produce high quality complex components in large quantities. In addition, as an OEM supplier, we produce in accordance with the requirements of the good manufacturing practices in control areas or clean rooms ISO class 8. The effectiveness of the hygiene requirements is monitored and documented with regular controls of the particle count in the ambient air and microbiological analysis in accordance with GMP guidelines. I will now provide an overview of some applications. These membrane-based systems have been widely used in the literature to model, for example, the blood-brain barrier, the intestinal and the respiratory epithelia, the alveolar capillar barrier using air liquid interfaces, also to model the skin, the hepatic and renal epithelia, and the placental barrier, among others. They are also very useful to perform indirect cultures and to study transport and metabolic activities, making them an excellent option to study permeability and toxicity of drugs, chemicals, and cosmetics. Other applications include migration and invasion assays, and more recently, organ cultures. Our inserts are currently used by academic labs all over the world, as well as contract research organizations, cosmetic, toxicology, and drug testing centers. Our cell culture inserts allow for convenient pipette access and optimized gas exchange. Cell card inserts are RNAs and DNAs free and non pyrogenic We offer them in 6, 12, and 24 well format with pore sizes of 0 0.4, 1, 3, 5 and 8 microns, with clear or translucent membrane optics. Talking about port size, we often get the question on what is the best size for a particular application. Therefore, we have prepared a port size recommendation table, which is available in our website. The adequate port size depends on your experiment, but also on your cell type. Generally speaking, we recommend the 0.4 and 1 micron to grow epithelial and endothelial layers whereas bigger pore sizes of 3, 5, and 8 microns to perform migration and invasion studies. However, as always, this is only a general guide, and we advise you to check the scientific literature to select the correct insert for your application. Regarding the optical properties of our membranes, we advise our clear membrane for applications where monitoring is desired using phase contrast microscopy whereas the translucent membrane is better suited for experiments who require the fast and robust cell growth. The superior optical properties of our clean membranes are product of a reduced pore density, while the superior diffusion properties of our translucent membranes come from a higher pore density. It is important to mention that both types are optimal for fluorescent microscopy, as the autofluorescence of the membranes is minimal. Now that we have learned a lot about cell culture inserts, I would like to introduce you to our costumized solutions. 
Many NAND devices contain plastic components and semi-variable membranes. Therefore, it is important to select the right manufacturer. This will aid the regulatory process, propelling the adoption of your NAND and paving the road towards a world with new standards. In close dialogue with our customers, we develop a specific plastic molding solutions and membranes for future products. In our state-of-the-art mold manufacturing facility, we are building new injection tools. Ultra-precise tools for the injection molding process are the basis for a reproducible production of complex components in large quantities. Savoy develops and manufactures its own microporous tissue culture treated membranes. For the assembly of membranes, Savoy creates tailor-made production design based on the specifications. As I told you, we guarantee a high availability and a secure and economic production of the products in clean rooms and control areas. We are unique as all the production of our plastic and membrane components, their assembly and packaging happens under the same roof. Of course, this is something that allows us to have a strict control and therefore we guarantee 100% consistency. In addition, we are familiar with all common sterilization methods and we will help you select the most suitable for your application. As you can see, this systematically designed modular research and development process creates transparency and allows us to step in during any product development phase. If you are interested in challenging us with your individual plastic and tissue culture treated membrane application, just contact us and we would love to have a meeting with you and discuss about the possibilities. I would like to conclude this presentation with the following remarks. While animals have played an important role in past medical advances, their use raises many scientific, economic and ethical concerns. On the other side, in vitro methods allow the use of human cells and this can reveal mechanistic information as to how a substance exerts a biological effect. As we have seen in this presentation, there are currently many new alternative methods that can be used to replace animal testing. However, we are only at the beginning and there is an urgent need to develop more powerful and reliable methods that mimic the complexity of higher organisms. Of course, this aim is not trivial and requires the cooperation between all the stakeholders, and that will help make ethical technologies sustainable and available. We believe that by partnering, we could progress. Finally, the goal to reduce, refine, and replace animal testing is as important for the animals as it is for us. By developing a standardized human-relevant NAMS of industrial interest, it could be possible to improve the safety assessment of drugs, chemicals, and cosmetics. I would like to thank you for your attention. Please share your thoughts and let's make from these new approach methods the new standard. Here you can find my contact information and also our website. Thank you so much.